Don't mind the children in the background. They are noisy as anything. <laughs> I've got them as quiet as I can get them. But um, today I'm going to teach you how to organize your homeschool through Google Drive. Um, first off, you definitely need to have a Gmail address. So um, get yourself one. It's e really easy to make. And just open up Google Drive. And with Drive, you can pretty much do a lot of things. Um, here, I'll show you. Here's my drive, and then you can have um, spreadsheets and documents. Here's a document and spreadsheets, and they really thoroughly help you organizing yourself. Um, as you can see, I've been using it for years. Um, here at the top, I have my folders, and I'll, I'll go ahead and look in um, this past year pre-K pre with my son. Um, bunch of documents, bunch of uh, spreadsheets. Here's a spreadsheet for our curriculum. Again, don't, don't mind the kids, I'm sorry. Um, but here's the spreadsheet for our curriculum. Um, pretty organized. Uh, have all the days and the weeks. And then here's what we have for that day. Here's Monday. Um, the 9 to 1, I hoped to have it 9 to 1 in the daytime, but that didn't quite work out. Um, and this year we did a letter of the week. So we have A to Z going all the way down here with a couple of reviews in there. Um, and we have an animal theme, music theme, lesson theme, a Bible theme, and a field trip. Um, but it's very organized. I picked all this, I wrote all this up, and it's in a spreadsheet. Again, back to this, um, the screen. We have a whole bunch of different documents going on. Easy to get back to your folders. You just go click My Drive, and then here's my folder for the upcoming year, homeschooling 2016-2017. Um, go ahead and open the curriculum spreadsheet I have. And again, pretty organized. You have the days of the week here. Um, we're going to be doing a unit theme for this upcoming year, so I have bi-weekly unit themes here, creation, outer space, time, such and so forth, the dates, um, here we have birthdays blacked out, because we don't do school on birthdays, um, Thanksgiving break, and a Christmas break, and an Easter break, but all this is just organized on, um, spreadsheet, so it's pretty basic, um, and I can get into detail in another video if you guys need me to. Here's our lessons. I have all this organized in documents here. Um, let's go ahead and look at one of them, our outer space unit. There we go. Um, outer space at the top, and then our Bible verse for the, for the unit. Um, and then here I have it organized Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday and there and what we're doing on those days and all the way down to oh no, sorry my computer's running really slow right now because I have too many things going on <laughs> um, all the way down to Friday for the second week a bunch of crafts we have and all these were found through Google's all these links were found through Google to make a very full curriculum for my children both of them um, here's some worksheets I found for both children, my five-year-old and my two-year-old. And let's see, I'll show you this way how we, again, I'm, I apologize for the children. Um, all you gotta do is just type in, you know, what the grade level is, what you're le teaching about, and a worksheet, and you come up with a whole bunch of different stuff, like, um, a whole bunch of different worksheets, and here's one that I want to be doing with my child, um, teaching him the different planets, and some crafts we have in here. But this is on a document. I just find a document. Let's go back to the lessons, and I will show you something else. Load. There we go. Colin Isaac, my Colin Isaac folder. Now, since Isaac's two years old, I can't do the same things with him that I would do with Cole, who's five. So, 
I have little spreadsheets here for both kids and what I'll be doing on both days for them. So I created a little Isaac column and a Cole I column. Um, for example, when Cole's working on creating constellations on paper, Isaac can work letter C. Or when Cole's doing whatever this is, let's go ahead and take a look at what it is. It's a little load. Give me one moment. You right click and then left click to open up a link. So whenever while Isaac or while Cole's working on this worksheet, which Isaac wouldn't be able to do, Isaac can just work on his letter S. But there are things in here that both children do. For example, they can make chocolate chip moon faces because believe me, Isaac can eat some chocolate chips. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies that is. Um and play with Play-Doh to make a moon, stuff like that. De decorate the unit binder. Um, but anyway, all this is found in Google Drive. Very easy to use, very user friendly. Um, and there is really no need to have your own teacher binder. It's all here laid out for you in Google Drive. Um, so no need to go out and get your own set of, you know, documents, your own stuff. It's all right here on Google Drive. Alright, well thank you for watching and I hope I've out a little.